Hello there, welcome back to another video. In the previous video, we talked about data types and variables. So we have our five primitive data types. We have our integers, floats, doubles, booleans, and characters. To assign value to a variable, all we had to do was declare the type, write our variable name, and assign it a value. So let's say you had a really big file, 1,000 lines of code maybe, 2,000, who knows, and maybe you were also importing code from other files. And there was this variable that you weren't sure what the type is. So to check the type of a variable, all you have to do is type type ID and then pass in your variable and then dot name. Don't forget the parentheses and then let's put an inline character and let's see what happens. So you get this I, this character I, what does this I mean? Let's try another, let's say float price 99, uh, 24.99 F. Let's print that out. And let's see what we get. And we get F. So, hmm, what does that mean? All right, let's try one more. Bool, hungry, true. And then let's just copy and paste this time. And then put hungry. And then let's run it. Okay, so we get I, F, and B. If you haven't figured it out by now, I stands for integer, F stands for float, and B stands for Boolean. So well, let's see, if we put in double, pi equals 3.14, what was it? 14159265, something like that. And then we run it. You see we get D here, so I, F, D, B. So int, float, double, and bool. And then why don't we include characters? So let's put dollar and put the dollar symbol here. And then let's see what happens. Okay, let's run it. And we see I, F, D, B, C. Okay, I is int, F is float, D is double, B is bool and C is character or char, car, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that's how you would find the type of a variable. You can also pass in the value. So let's get rid of this. So what happens if I type C out type ID of 1.5? What would I get? Would I get a double or a float? Let's find out. Mm. Oh, yes, don't forget dot name. All right, let's run it again. We get double, right? Because 1.5 is a double. If you want to make it a float, you have to add the letter F. So let's run it again and you get F. Okay, so that's how you would check the type of a variable or a value in C++. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.